16, it says, Is there be any fornicator or profound person as Esau, who you uh, they can be called uh, Caucasian people, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright? 17. For you know, for you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessings, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance. Though he sought it carefully with tears. Yeah, like bro, there ain't gonna be no crying your way out of this, man. Y'all gonna get y'all judgment and y'all gonna have to take it, man. And ain't nothing you can do about it. You gonna get your judgment rightfully so, man. But that's why I said a lot of uh, uh, Esau is wanting the dead the Lord to come too, but what end is for you, man? <laughs> nothing but uh, death and chains, man. Y'all going into slavery, man. Right. What y'all did to us, man, y'all gonna have to pay for that, man. that has said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, said the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people, man. Oh, we just read that. It came back out. <laughs> but, man, hey, man, the Lord is going to, Lord, uh, the vengeance is his, man. For all these uh, uh, people that didn't want to follow the law, statutes, commandments, for all these heathen nations that took advantage of, of Israel, y'all got to pay for that, man. And for all you uh, Israel, uh, Israel that want to be like Esau, these Eastern nations, hey, you're going to die too, man. Right. Right. Ain't no help for you, man. Right. It's Obadiah 1 and 15. It says, For the day of the Lord is nearer upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. Right. 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 Hey, hey, hey. So, so what you give out, you're going to get back, man. Right. Hey, hey. If you, if you, uh, you in these scriptures, then you, this is the Lord going to bless you. That's what you're going to get back. Hey, but you even who have led our people astray, okay, who have uh, condemned our people, hey, the Lord going to deal with you, man. Your reward going to be back on your head, man. Hey, you dealt with us uh, in a rash way. The Lord, hey, the Lord gonna deal with you in a rash way, man. And uh, the say the Lord gonna deal with you, and you shall receive double the reward, man. All right? So it ain't gonna be no easy thing, man. Right. Yeah. Hey, hey, we gonna show our Esau how they should have done us, man. If you was gonna uh, uh, try to beat and, and hang and burn our people, we gonna show y'all how y'all should have done it, man. Because we really going to tear y'all up, man. Y'all going to get doubled, man. We're going to be meditating terror on y'all, man. We're going to be going to sleep like, man, when I wake up, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. We meditate terror now. That's right, man. That's right. And then, uh, it's like you heathen, uh, uh, you so-called Indians, man. Y'all uh, come over here and feed our people pork. Uh, going off, man. East Indians. Uh, East Indians. It's a lot of East Indians. Feeding our people abomination that you won't even serve in your own household. Knowing you going off on our people and keeping it going, man. Hey, the Lord gonna return at your reward, hey, your reward shall be double. That's just, and see that that mainly pertains to Ishmael, because a lot of Elamites don't deal with, with pork. They're not even gonna sell it, man. But the Arabs, even though they're not supposed to touch pork, they'll still sell it. Right. They have no problem selling it, man. You know, they have no problem. You know. Hey, that's it on that. All right, what you got, man? 
give me uh cannot give me Jeremiah 16 and 3. Jeremiah 15 and 3. Yep. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 15 and 3. And I will appoint over them four kind, four kind, saith the Lord. The sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Yep, yep. So the Lord is going to use everything to destroy you, you, you heathens, and especially two thirds of our own people. Negro, Latino, and Native American. He's gonna use the gun, he's gonna use the white man, which is a sword also, plus anything else that could be used as a as a killing instrument. The Lord is gonna use it, man. You know? Anything he can find, man, you know, to kill you people with, man. There's gonna be a lot of blood shed out here, man. You know, men and Lord just have to prepare themselves for this, man. You know? Because it's not gonna be no easy thing, man. Not at all, man. Not at all, man. You know, I've been meditating on this, man, for the last couple of days about the hell that we're gonna catch here when all hell break loose, man. You know? Cause just think about it, man. Even when a person get involved in an automobile accident and, you know, they see somebody broken leg, they can't even, have, they get squeamish at that. You see his bones sticking out of his leg. But just imagine when all hell break loose. You're gonna see right. a whole lot more things that's worse than that, man. Women gonna be eating their babies. It's gonna yep. be a lot of stuff going on, man. You be walking down the street, people eating dead bodies. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of stuff going on, man. Okay, dead bodies everywhere in the street, the scriptures say, man. That's right, man. It's gonna be mass turmoil, man. Yep. Yeah, you, uh, you know, with, with the dead bodies and blood and stuff out in the street, just talking about that. Diseases. All right? Because when you need blood and stuff out, you don't have bacteria or disease. That's the kind of thing you need to do, man. And the brother, the brother read the scripture earlier about the, the uh, stench out of the carcass. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. The smell in itself is going to be bad, man. That's right. With rotten bodies everywhere, man. This is going to be, this is, this. Hey, the day of the Lord is going to be a terrible day, man. I had to sneeze. It's going to be a terrible thing, man. It's a terrible day, man. All right. That's right. Go ahead. Y'all got anything else? So with that, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And much love, peace, and blessings to all the hopeful left brothers out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. With that, I want to say death to America. Death, death to, to America. Kwame Ashaala. Kwame Ashaala. Kwame Bakarium. Kwame Bakarium. Shalom. Shalom.